Hi, this is Beanie from Online Forex Master. Now today I'd like to share a trade with you which is on Euro Aussie. Um, this is typically what happens in the alien room. I will be writing and sharing my thoughts. Subsequently, you can use these uh, levels and these thoughts uh, for your own trades. Now this is to save time because you are busy. You are focusing on what you are good at. So my role is to share with you my thoughts so you can use it to make more money. All right. Now these are purely educational. These are purely my own thoughts. So do bear in mind that um, trading is high risk. Okay. Now what I think of Euro Aussie on the September nineteen was that it seems uh, bullish, but ultimately there wasn't any weak close above a critical level which was one point four eight eighty. Tusk, that's a wash and rinse and that's bearish. Now to sum up, I'm looking at um, to sell at 1.4880, all right, with a profit target at 1.4680 and a possible resistance to come in at 1.4970, which means that if it's above 1.4970, that is a wrong trade. So to sum up, on the 19th of September, I was waiting to sell at 1.4880. However, in the comment section, I wrote that on the 21st of September, all right. Um, I put in an update on Euro Aussie, and that um, something changed. All right. What changed? Because there's a one to three four that's form a formation that we are looking at to time our entry for explosive trades. Now, in this case, because the one to three four has already formed, it becomes a confirmed trade, and so we are looking at a sell limit. Uh, to be at 1.4780, which is a 100 pips down. All right, so on the 21st of September, I'm waiting to sell limit at 1.4780, now ahead of FOMC, and that's the reason why the stop loss is slightly higher. But we are still looking at 1.4620 as a profit target. Now, yesterday, all right, we had the um, sell limit of the Euro Aussie field at 1.48. 1.4780. Now, yesterday was a 27th of September. All right. On the 26th of September, all right, that's um, on Monday this week, we had the position filled at 1.4780. Um, now, after filling this trade at 4780, uh, 4780 I had the trade uh, shifted uh, to break even. When I shift the trade to break even, it means that if the trade is to go against us, then there will be no risk. All right. So this is a risk-free trade. And to you, emotionally, it will be a very um, nice trade because you're going to have zero losses for this trade. Okay. Now, um, I also have the... Target profit extended to 1.46 uh, even by another 20 pips more uh, yesterday in the afternoon after seeing the strong momentum in Euro Aussie. All right, so the recap um, uh, we have shorted this trade at 1.4780. All right, that's on the 26th of September. But I posted the sell of Euro Aussie on the 21st of September, which was 1.4780 to sell. And the trade was filled on the 26th of September. And the profit target has been shifted uh, from 1.4620 to 1.46 even all right, yesterday. All right, let's take a look at the charts here. We have uh, on the 19th of September, my first post in Euro Aussie, which I posted to short Euro Aussie. And on the 21st of September, revised the sell limit to 1.4780. And that's the 1.4780 here. The trade was filled on the 26th of September here at the highest point. All right. Now, this is a sell limit trade and 1.4780 is a set and forget level. What this means is that you could just key in the sell order at 1.4780 many days or many hours ahead. All right. Just leave it in your trading system, set in your stop loss, know how much you're going to lose, know how much you're going to make, and then just leave it there and wait for the trade to fill. All right. We have the trade filled nicely at 1.4780 on a Monday morning, and our target profit will be 1.4620 that we, I have written uh, on the 19th of September. All right. However, um, the Target profit was revised um, to 1.4600 because I wanted to squeeze another 20 pips more. Okay, now if we have this trade, 
wonderfully executed and it will do whatever that we want it to do, then the profit that we are looking at will be a total of 1.4780 minus 1.4600. Now that will be a 180 pips uh, profit. Now, when, it, when you look at 180 pips profit, it means that if you put in a mini contract that was, that's 180 Aussie dollar. Now, if you put in a standard contract, that's 1,800 uh, Aussie dollar that we are looking at. Okay, so we are looking at 1.46 even as our profit target. So price started to move. All right, let me just shift this nicely. Price started to move, all right, down. And you could see that it hit nicely into the 1.4600 very nicely. And we have taken our profit already for this trade for a total of 180 pips profit. Okay. Now, if you like what I'm posting here or like what we are trading up here, then do join me in the alien room. Uh, more details can be found in onlineforexmaster.com. Thank you.